In today's tutorial, we're going to have a bit of floral fun, so grab your markers and brush pens, because we're drawing flowers. Hello, welcome back. My name is Shada. Today we're going to draw some flowers together. So grab a notebook or journal, grab your markers or brush pens, whatever you have. And the first one we're going to draw is a little peony. We'll start with some orange brush strokes, just a few little oval shapes in a semicircle. Then grab another color, maybe a pink. And we're going to do three long petals in front of that area. Then maybe a few more brush strokes on the sides. And then we'll do these tiny little nubbins in behind the stamen to make it look like there's other petals back there. Um, and then you can grab a color, maybe a dark green for the stem. You're just going to do these tiny little brush strokes and a curving line for the, uh, for the stem. So a simple little peony in marker. If you're following along and learning to draw today and you feel like you need a little more help, you can grab my floral illustration worksheet. It's available on Patreon. All the bonus content is just a couple bucks a month. Okay, let's do another one together. This is sort of a ranunculus. I start with these little circles, a circle of little dots <laughs> or little circles. Then in another color, you're going to do these broken curving lines. It's like you're trying to draw a circle around the stamen in the center, but you just can't quite uh, complete the line. There's all this negative space in between and you just keep going around and around. And uh, then all we need to do once that circle is complete and the flower is as large as you like is add two little leaves. Now let's do this again. So you start with these dots that form a circle and that's your stamen. Then using another color, you're doing these curving lines, but they don't quite connect to form a full circle. Then you can allow those lines or brush strokes to get a little larger and you complete the circular flower. Once that's done and you like the shape, all you need to do is draw a couple little oval shaped leaves. You could do two or three, fill them in. I used a nice dark blue and that's my ranunculus. Next, we're going to do these simple little four or five petal flowers. You can use any size or shape of marker for this. I'm using a chisel tip and then a brush marker. And we're just doing like four scribbly, messy petals. For the stamen in the center, you'll do a grouping of little dots. And if you like, you can add some leaves by doing a curving stem and pairs of little ovals along it. If you're feeling very extra, you can even add a bit of shading, just use a similar marker color and put some lines near the center. Next up, a simple leaf design. Start with an oval shaped leaf and then you can add a stem as long as you like. And then same idea, add pairs of oval shaped leaves along that stem and then grab a contrasting color. I'm going to use just a darker gray and uh, we'll add us that stem down the center, a line in the middle of each leaf. And then if you like, do these little V's um, just to make it look like veining on the leaves. Okay, let's do a larger flower together. This starts with three big petals, one at the top, one on the left and the right, and then the bottom petal is a lot shorter. And that's just going to help this flower look more realistic. For the stamen, do a messy dark brown circle. And then you're going to do a fanning out or a circle of little lines, but keep the ones at the bottom very short, same idea as the petal, and then go around in that circle and add a whole bunch of little dots. Once the stamen's done, you can add a tiny little stem and maybe some leaves. I'm going to tuck one or two leaves in behind the petals of the flower just to give it a really natural look. You may have noticed my new watch. I just received this from Nordgreen. They're a Danish watch company and they have the most beautifully designed, very slim watches with eco-friendly packaging and they've given me a discount code to share. So if you're in the market for a new watch, use code CAMPBELL to get 20% off for the next three days. Let's do another little leafy design together. This one starts with a curving stem. I'm using a brush pen and I'm just barely allowing that pen to touch the page and I'm doing these tiny little round leaves. The stem sort of breaks in some areas. Some of the leaves are smaller than others. It's all very delicate and very small and it would look good with any flower illustration. 
Okay, next we're doing a kind of daisy. So a start with a circle for the stamen and then an oval for the other stamen. Then with the circle, we're going to draw a circle around it. For the oval, you'll do an oval around it and keep the stamen low within that circle. Then with another color and brush pen or marker, you're going to fill in that pencil circle. Uh, the first one, all the petals are um, sort of equal length and it's this bright, open, full flower. And for the next one, the front petals are very short and it looks like it's curving up and out and away from the viewer. It's a little more concave. We'll add some shaggy little leaves to finish our flowers. And that's, uh, that's basically how I would approach drawing something like a daisy or aster or chamomile flower. Let's try it again. Start with a circle and an oval. Then for the circle, we're going to do this a border of equal length petals all the way around. But for the oval, we're going to do these equal length petals except for the ones along the bottom or the front. They're very short. Add a little curving stem and some tiny little messy shaggy leaves and that's that. And remember, you can grab my worksheets on Patreon if you still need help drawing these. Okay, what should we do for our last one? I'm thinking something really simple. Uh, grab a light color and you're just going to do kind of a messy spiral that fills into a circle, but there's like a little bit of negative space in there. Uh, so it kind of looks like rosebuds or something like that, layers of petals. In the center, we'll do another little grouping of dots. That's always a good stamen. And for the stems and leaves, I'm simply going to do a group of lines, vertical lines in a nice dark blue. Ah, and at this point, take a look at your flowers. Does one need a little extra leaf or some extra detailing? It's fun to layer uh, markers. You can see I'm adding black to the navy leaves and a darker green um, on these lighter green leaves. And uh, just play, uh, think of different shapes. Anything can be a flower. Anything can be a little berry or leaf. So have fun and just experiment. And friends, please comment below because in this video we did something a little different with our animated flowers, um, trying to help you learn to draw. Was that helpful? Did you like that? Please comment. And for anyone interested, my watch is from Nordgreen. It's super slim and well-designed and you can get 20% off with code CAMPBELL for the next three days. It'll be 15% after that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, please. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial.